In this short video, we're going to show you how to use Falconry AI with Pi Server for detection of operating patterns in wind farm data. Wind turbine operations are a complex set of interactions between nature and machines. These complex interactions make it very difficult to use rule-based control systems, and the detection of these patterns of operations across multiple internal and external time series is challenging. Using Falconry, one can discover the patterns of operation that exist between these complex multivariate signals. What we're going to do is show you how to bring data from your Pi server into Falconry using the Falconry Pi integrator, detect those patterns, and return the results to the Pi system. Falconry is fully integrated with Pi. Using the Pi Web API, Falconry is able to bring the data directly from the Pi server into Falconry for monitoring, condition detection, and return the results from Falconry back into the Pi server. By using Falconry and Pi together, intelligent condition monitoring can be achieved. Simply prepare the data that you have in your asset framework and asset templates. Connect Falconry, select the database and asset template of choice. Use Falconry to detect the conditions of operation of interest. And those results then get returned to Pi for monitoring and core site data link or use in ac actionable dashboards, etc. Let's get started. Log into your Falconry account. Look at the sidebar, choose account. Go to integration. You'll see the status is not connected to Pi AF server. We want to connect. So we click the connect button, fill in this information, which I've already done in another screen. Click submit and Falcon will connect to your Pi AF server. Next, we create a new link to the Pi AF server. Click on add new link. Choose a name for this integration, like wind turbine data, an assessment name, Choose the data server that you are going to get the data from, the asset server, connect to the database of interest, in this case it's CSI demo, choose an element template that's in the database, I have wind turbine, and then you'll see that the attributes are brought into Falconry automatically. Next choose a time range, I'm going to use three years to the present time, and that is the correct time zone. Click save and your link is created. Falconry also creates simultaneously an event buffer, as well as a new pipeline called wind turbine condition. I will go through this quickly, as the point of this particular video is not to illustrate the details of functionality of Falconry, but more to illustrate the integration between Pi and Falconry in the examination of complex data such as wind turbine data. This is the pipeline that was created when we brought the Pi data into Falconry. The data will flow in to the left side of the pipeline. Model generation and verification activity occurs here. And when this valve is open, the output of the Falconry assessments will flow back into the Pi server. I can expand my screen by clicking this bottom arrow here to get more real estate. This is what the data look like. These data are from the Pi server rendered in Falconry. We've already completed all the assessments, but I wanted to point out just a couple of things about what we did. First, we were interested in understanding normal conditions. So we gave it examples of periods of time where the normal condition existed here, out here, and a couple of more. We also were interested in a particular condition that we labeled C240 and gave it examples of the C240 condition occurring here, here, and a couple of other places. Finally, there's a particular waveform that interested us that we wanted to identify in the falconry service. This is the waveform as it appears in the data right here. And we called that waveform a pitch issue. So the set of conditions that occur at this period of time are labeled pitch issue. Now let's zoom back out and see how Falconry did at classifying the rest of the periods of time with the information that we gave it and the labels that we gave Falconry. So now I'm going to render the final results. And I'm going to mask normal because it's too much information. And I'm going to mask C240. Now you can see that this condition pitch issue actually occurred in multiple periods of time. And it occurred multiple periods of time, not just in that plant, but also in the other plant. Finally, the C240 condition shows up in many places during the time period of interest. The last step now is to open up the pipeline and send the results of Falconry's assessments back into the Pi server. Using the configure tab, I can open up this valve, choose the model revision that I want to, to send back results from, promote that revision, 
and Falconry goes into live monitoring mode. Now as data comes into Falconry, Falconry will classify those data and send the results back into the Pi server. Let's have a look. Here at the Pi System Explorer, you can see the actual wind farm data attributes and the new attribute called Falconry Turbine Health that was created and the Pi points that are created within the attribute corresponding to the assessments and pushed back into the Pi server. These results are now available within Pi for use with core site or data link dashboards or as actionable conditions. What you've seen is Falconry working with Pi. A domain expert connects Falconry to the Pi server, brings in select data, then identifies those patterns, names them, reviews the findings, and those findings then are piped back into the Pi system. The findings then can be included in operational dashboards to yield even more actionable conditions that operators will use. Falconry AI plus Pi system together enable data-driven operations.